CP24,8th of March 2023, Xi claims the United States is attempting to thwart China's development into a global hegemon. Are the Americans attempting to harm China? Chinese officials believe doing so will keep their country from becoming the world's greatest despot. This week, President Xi Jinping charged that Washington was attempting to alienate his nation and impede its development. That reflects the Communist Party's growing annoyance with the United States' efforts to curb Beijing's pursuit of prosperity and global power through technological access restrictions, support for Taiwan, and other actions seen as hostile by Beijing. Xi, China's most powerful leader in decades, strives to project an air of superiority and typically expresses blandly encouraging sentiments in public. His gripe on Monday was all the more startling as a result. According to Xi, a U.S.-led effort to contain and suppress China has brought unprecedented, severe challenges. He encouraged people to dare to fight. Foreign Minister Chen Gang stepped up the caution on Tuesday, warning that failure to alter direction could result in conflict and confrontation with Washington. John DeLury, an expert in international relations at Yonsei University in Seoul, said that the foreign minister was speaking for the widely held belief in China that the United States was pursuing it and that China needed to protect itself. China is not the only nation upset about Washington's hegemony in international economic and strategic matters. However, Chinese leaders believe Washington is stepping up its efforts to obstruct Beijing as a rival for the regional and potentially global leadership that Beijing rightfully gets. The ruling party's goal is to unite what it views as the Chinese motherland by seizing control of Taiwan, the self-governing island democracy that Beijing claims are part of its territory. This would allow Beijing to resume its historical position as the country's political and cultural leader and boost incomes by making China an innovator rather than a stealer of technology. Although American officials perceive them as threats, Beijing views those as constructive goals. They claim that at least some of China's development plans are built on stealing technology from foreign firms or exerting pressure on them to do so. Some fear that Chinese competition could reduce American incomes and industrial supremacy. Beijing's plans have been hindered by Washington's placement of Chinese businesses, including Huawei, the country's first worldwide tech brand, on a list that restricts access to processor chips and other technology. The once dominant smartphone brand Huawei was weakened as a result. American officials are urging their friends in Europe and other allies to upgrade their phone networks without using Huawei equipment. Washington points to concerns about security, but Beijing claims that's just an excuse to harm its up-and-coming rivals. The most significant trading connection in the world exists between the two governments, and they share an interest in tackling issues like climate change. The point of Taiwan, Beijing's treatment of ethnic minorities in Hong Kong who are primarily Muslim, Tibet, and Xinjiang, and Beijing's failure to condemn or isolate Russia for its invasion of Ukraine are causing a deterioration in relations. Xi Yinhong, an expert in international relations at Beijing's Renmin University, claimed that the official Chinese perspective has soured since a spike following Xi's meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden in Indonesia in November. He pointed out that in the five months since then, Washington has approved more arms sales to Taiwan, criticized Beijing's position on Ukraine, and added more Chinese firms to export watch lists, all of which China viewed as hostile actions. She said that although Xi and Chin spoke in a dramatic way this week, the main point of what they said was China's long-term strategy. The United States has implemented almost all around, drastic and desperate containment of China in all respects, the leadership asserts, especially in strategic and military fields. According to Xi, there is an increasing likelihood that China and the US will engage in a military battle to prevent China from attacking Taiwan. Ned Price, a spokesman for the State Department, 
disputed that Washington intended to repress China and instead stated that Washington wants to coexist responsibly within the international economic and political system. Containing China is not the point of this. It is not the intention to repress China. The goal here is not to impede China, Price stated in Washington. We desire healthy rivalry that doesn't veer into that conflict and is fair. In reaction to worries about China and its claim to vast swaths of the sea that are active shipping lanes, the United States established a strategic alliance called the Quad with Japan, Australia, and India. Although they claim the group doesn't concentrate on any particular nation, their formal statements frequently discuss territorial claims and other issues they disagree with Beijing. The recent shift in attitude comes after tense discussions regarding a Chinese balloon fire down after flying over North America. The FBI is inspecting its electrical components as well as other machinery. Delury stated that Chin, the foreign minister, is trying to position China as a global force for moderation and peace and that it's the Americans who are blowing things out of proportion, among other things, before foreign audiences. Xi's administration is particularly irritated by Western legislators' public support for Taiwan, which broke away from China in 1949 following a civil war. Even though Taiwan has never been a member of the PRC, the Communist Party maintains that the 22-million-person island must reunite with the mainland, if necessary, by force. Federal law requires Washington to ensure Taiwan has the means to protect itself, and it has done so by selling its fighter aircraft and missiles. Chinese officials claim that this encourages politicians in Taiwan who might oppose unification and potentially declare formal independence, a move Beijing claims would result in war. Premier Li Keqiang, who will vacate his position as China's second-in-command later this month, urged for peaceful reunification on Sunday. However, the government of Xi has also stepped up its efforts to intimidate the island by using fighter aircraft to fly overhead and launching missiles into the nearby sea. The most recent deterioration of U.S.-Chinese relations, which never had much trust, is a testament to the real degradation, according to Drew Thompson, a fellow at the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy at the National University of Singapore. There is a heightened risk of miscalculation because Chinese leaders consider any sort of discussion on strategic issues as sensitive and out of bounds, Thompson said. They have plenty of proof, he said, to support their claim that the United States is a hegemon out to delegitimize the Communist Party. They could equally quickly think that the U.S. is a partner in achieving the party's goals, though, if perceptions and the balance of interests change.